Well, young Dolph is back up to his bull, okay? He's back out here talking crap. He also got robbed today, okay? He got robbed for his jewelry. He claims he parked it at a, at a restaurant. We'll get into that restaurant in a second because I can't believe he even eats at this restaurant. And uh, he got like half a million dollars worth of jewelry stolen. Sounds sounds suspicious to me. Uh, this is George Tower JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button to get good luck this week, guys. Okay, smash the smash it, bro. Okay, so we got Young Dolph. Now the first the first fake comment he started with today was that he was the only rapper to come in the game with money, bro. You've been exposed for riding a ten speed. Barbers make money, so there's nothing against barbers. But he's talking about like some like you know crazy money, like you know he's a millionaire before when he came in the game. Barbers make a ton of money, okay? I've seen barbers make, you know, 200000 a year, 300000 a year, right? I don't think he was that one because they said he was riding around at the 10 speed, okay? <laughs> that was the old millionaire. He said he was riding around the 10 speed, cutting people's hair, making money. But, like, you know, if you're really... Some barbers are driving, you know, Rolls Royces and stuff. Go, 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 go do them cuts. I, he wasn't on that level. Not in Memphis, okay? Uh... You know, he, he wasn't a celebrity barber. No, and, and, you know, I respect I respect barbers because they I've seen some of them hustle up tons of money over the years and have their own shops and multiple shops. Anyways, this is what he said. History facts. Hell, y'all doing? Y'all know it's still Black History Month, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't just about the past. This shit about the future and the present. Everything. Meet the first Black nigga that came in the rap game with more money than every nigga ever touched a microphone. It's Dolph. Not true. Jeezy, okay? Jeezy came in the game. Shorty Low, uh, Cormega, okay? These people that came in the rap game with money already. And these are all the people that I could, like, attest to, okay? Uh, who else, man? I mean, there's a lot. Yo Gotti had money before he started rapping, okay? Like, and, it, and I think that's who he was again, poking. He keeps poking over there. And I can understand why Yo Gotti doesn't really like this guy, you know, because he just talks a lot of shit, man. So anyways, let's get to him pulling up at the Cracker Barrel, okay? So he goes to the Cracker Barrel. Who eats at the Cracker Barrel, my G? It's spin trash, okay? And it feels like a racist restaurant. Whenever I'm in there, I feel like I'm on a plantation in, uh, you know, 18, what, 17 or whatever time that happened. I was like, it feels racist. I remember we had a... I was, I forget who I was on a bus with. We were on tour and we stopped there to eat. Man, they did not like us in there, okay? You know, and I was the only white guy on the bus, right? But they didn't like everyone, anyone of my, that was my friends in there. You know, it was like, it was very weird. And I'm not, you know, it might have been just that Cracker Barrel we went to, but it feels weird. Just the vibe of Cracker Barrel. Like, the food is okay. You know, it's, you know, chicken with gravy on it. You know, it's like, it's okay. It's like, it's like, it's like really bad soul, like southern food, you know? Like to me, this is just my opinion, I, you know? Um, so it's just bad southern food, you know? If you want to get good southern food, go to like, go to Georgia or something, go to Mary Max Tea. That's okay. Mary Max Tea Room is pretty good. They have better stuff than that though in Georgia, you know? Like they have a lot of places. That's just like the quick one that came to my mind. Anyways, his window got busted out of his G63. And they got away with uh, 57000 Can you imagine pulling up in a G63? Okay. It's probably worth as much as the Cracker Barrel restaurant. Because it's like a, that's like a $200,000 vehicle. Tricked out. Most of those Cracker Barrels are probably worth 100000 <laughs> And then uh, it says it, the thieves took a chain that was worth 57000 230000 Cartier. Cartier glasses worth twenty four thousand. A watch worth two hundred thirty thousand. This happened in Georgia, right, bro? There's no way your car got broken. In. Your car definitely has an alarm system. Uh, there's no way you pulled up. They smashed in the vehicle, and you couldn't come outside and see what was going on. Or there's no way you probably couldn't see your car from the window where you were sitting at. You know. And why are you driving around and leave all that jewelry in the car? You're better off taking it in a bag with you into the restaurant. Sounds like an insurance thing to me, honestly. But that's just allegedly. And that's just my opinion. And then Young Dolph is back to trolling. So we know he's going to be dropping an album soon. CIAA is coming up. 
and he always drops around CIAA. So we'll have to see, man. But anyways, what do you guys think? And don't forget, you know, anyways. He's just trying. A lot of people came in the game with money. Not a, you know, a few people did, okay? There's definitely some trap rappers that definitely, definitely had money before they got into the game. It's Jordan Tad with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.